Meet the hissing cockroach, Sid, from Madagascar. We call them hissing roaches because if you get around a wild one, this one's used to us, they will actually make a hissing noise. Who didn't want to hiss for me, but after my initial shock, what, what, ew, I finally got brave and touched it. It will not hurt you. I'm going to touch it. There you go. Oh, it's not that bad. But, oh, see that in my uh, condo, I'll be freaked out. Something off the bucket list. You can find out more about Sid at Brookfield Zoo's Boo at the Zoo. <coughs> the exhibits are full of creepy crawlies like this tarantula, appropriately named Marcella. Um, I'm not allowed to touch that, which is probably a really good thing. You can learn about the screech owl Sterling, who also didn't talk to me and this turkey vulture, Opie, making its TV debut. These guys are really cool animals to talk about during Halloween because they're kind of gross. So <laughs> Because they poop on their feet? They poop on their feet. Um, they, when they're nervous, they'll actually vomit. Uh, it's very pungent. <laughs> All around the zoo, there are tons of teachable moments with Halloween themes. You can check out the boa and the ball python and also this raven, a favorite in scary stories. Zoo employees will teach you about them throughout the day. We have zoo chats, we have not so scary vampires, goats, all that type of stuff. There's treats for the kids, there's um, animals are out all day long. This is the perfect day for the animals. Gather your ghoul friends, little ghosts and goblins and take a stroll through the zoo grounds where you'll find the crazed maze and the Ice Age exhibit, which becomes extinct again at the end of the month. Was it because of overhunting? Or was it because animals started to spread out in vector disease? The zoo is decked out for Halloween, so just wear your costume and you'll fit right in. At the Brookfield Zoo, Marcella Raymond, WGN News.